There, everyone. Well, a Metro veterinarian is spending day and night trying to save puppies that have been left for dead. Our Colleen Chin shows us the effort. Good. The ears look good. Okay. If only all the puppies Dr. Chris cares for could be as healthy as Sadie. Hey, boys. How are we doing? But lately, Dr. Chris has found himself consumed with saving Weimariner puppies like Jack. Sick with the Parvo virus, Jack was dumped with his fellow littermates Bob and Jesse in a field. Dr. Chris is trying not to focus on why. I do a lot of rescues, and you tend not to listen to the stories, because if you do, you tend to hate people. The emaciated pups were part of a far larger litter, two already too far gone when found earlier in August. Dr. Chris helped the other two fight, but they lost the battle. It's emotionally draining, you know, because you, you put so much effort and so much love into it and you want to see him do good. He comes back to his gentle care animal hospital every night at 11 to check on them. Aside from the medicine, you've got to show him somebody cares. Dr. Chris is not charging for his service, just the at-cost price of treatment. The Heartland Weimariner Rescue is footing the bill. That, despite the vet's generosity, is still creeping towards 3000 I know everybody's asking for money these days, but boy, these little guys could use it. Especially considering they are part of an ugly trend from irresponsible owners and breeders. Oh, it was such a heartbreak. Um, you know, unfortunately, it's not the first time we've seen it. We're seeing more litters being dumped. And the regional nonprofit volunteer rescue group trying to save Jack, Bob, and Jesse operates on a small budget and does not have the funds to cover all the costs. You can help by going online to news9.com slash links. Kelly. All right, Colleen. Once the puppies are well enough, the rescue group will foster them until permanent homes can be